The government has made significant changes in the controversial land acquisition bill as it seeks support from an opposition which has been opposed to it as being anti-farmer. The bill, seen as key to uh, the Modi government's reform agenda, is going to be voted on today in the Lok Sabha. The government today moved nine amendments, including doing away with uh, the exemption to social infrastructure projects in public-private partnership modes. Well, uh, as that amended land bill gets taken up today, uh, an NDTV exclusive now about uh, uh, whether uh, you know the government making changes uh, to the UPA land acquisition bill saying that it was leading to the stalling of projects was actually true or not. Srinivasan Jain has the details. So that this morning the government actually made some amendments to the uh, land ordinance to try and get it through parliament and one of the things they did was to actually take social infrastructure out of the ambit uh, of exempted projects which means that social infrastructure like hospitals and uh, hotels and educational institutions will need consent, will need social impact assessment before they go ahead. But they have retained infrastructure which is a long list of virtually every single project you can imagine. Now when we tried to contact the government uh, to try and get a list of such projects, we were absolutely stonewalled. No department of the government had any details to share with us to back this claim. The only list that we did manage to get hold of was from a leading industry body of 67 mega infrastructure projects, that is projects over a value of 1000 crores that have been blocked uh, for the past couple of years. Now according to this list, only 7 projects currently are held up because of land acquisition. That is only about 10% of the total number of projects. That means the remaining 90% of projects, and these include projects of power, roads, ports, and so on, have nothing to do, or largely nothing to do with land acquisition. They're held up because of other problems. Let me uh, start getting some political reactions to the NDTV news break, uh, starting with GVL Narsimha Rao, uh, spokesperson of the BJP. Thanks very much indeed, GVL, for talking to us. A uh, uh, question to you is that, uh, as we are finding, there is no evidence no list available which shows the argument that lakhs of crores of projects were held up because of the UPA's land acquisition bill. In fact, the only list we found suggests otherwise. Uh, uh, Srinivasan, you are looking at a, a very uh, uh, narrow picture of the whole uh, situation that exists. And um, I think uh, even the state chief, this is not a view of the central government. I would like you to please present the, the current view. This was the unanimous view of all the states, uh, uh, state governments. And in a meeting held in the month of June, yes. they all had the same story to be narrated. The Land Act of 2013 has not really been in force for any significant amount of time so that we would have some experience of how this act is being implemented, what kind of difficulties or challenges we might face. You know, the, uh, in fact, I think Srinivasan, you also wrote about this, that when in 2014, the, the, the June 2014, the meeting that they keep tom-tomming about, they talk about one meeting as a consultative process, whereby the Land Act of 2013 had years, years of uh, consultations. So based on one meeting with some ministers yes. from state governments, they basically said, they're throwing up their hands and saying, oh, this act is not going to work. But where is the evidence that this la land act is not going to work? I think uh, you want empirical evidence. We can let this act uh, uh, be in force for uh, 10 years or 100 years like the last act and uh, leisurely analyze the socio-economic implications of uh, uh, such an act being in force when you very well know in the very first instance that there is this is this we are a federal structure we have to take the views of all the states on board and there is unanimity between the center and the states and this is what even the UPA ministers had alleged or believed in the past and you know the situation demands we need uh, we need to push our accelerate our economic growth do we on, want I, us I, to I wait for back. 10 years 10 years and then and then and then lose an opportunity but to But I, I come back to this At when you say time, I want us, empirical this evidence. Is laughable. GVL, this is laughable. I'm sorry. I, when you say no, no, I want us, empirical evidence, uh, GVL, it's not me. The country, the people want. I mean, obviously, when you make big policy decisions, are you saying you make them without empirical evidence? That's an extraordinary claim. No, there is one year. One year. No, no. The, I think there is one year experience behind you where all stakeholders have been consulted. 
and no, then you already no. have an experience of no, no, no. There is no not even being no, absolutely wrong. Okay, okay, allow, 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 allow Salman, so please, GVL, I think you wait. allow me to GVL. complete. Allow me to complete. Yes, please yes, allow me to complete. Yes, I think a lot of infrastructure totally projects cannot even be cannot even be commenced. Cannot even be because there is a flight of capital in the Indian. But again, uh, uh, is this entrepreneurs? G GVL, GVL, GVL. Look, look. Uh, the, uh, one of the lists that had come out was up to 2013, September of 2013, I think. And, you know, let's face it, at that time, the Land Act was barely, uh, uh, you, you know, I don't even know if the Land Act had been passed in September of 2013. I'm not exactly sure of the dates. But we were talking about major issues with land acquisition and projects because of a 120-year-old colonial law. You basically want us to go back to colonial times? Uh, let me just bring in uh, another senior voice, a uh, political voice on the show. Uh, Supriya Sule uh, joins us of the NCP. Now, remember, the NCP is also a party that uh, uh, says they're not convinced by the ordinance, but they're still fine-tuning uh, their strategy. Uh, no, Srinivasan, I even said it yesterday on the floor of the House when I spoke that we have only two issues. One is if the law is implemented, let's have some data to prove that it is a deterrent to development. If you show us data, we're willing to talk, point number one. Point number two, my personal assessment and whatever little information that we have in public domain available right now, yes. is that most of the projects, at least I can say Maharashtra specific, were delayed because of environmental clearances. I mean, I hate to yes. say this to you, but this new government which has come into power has cleared about 600 projects. And I spoke to the secretary in government of Maharashtra and he said that these 600 projects were not cleared and it's really smooth sailing. And I do see an improvement, even if it's my opponent doing a good job, if it's in interest of the if my You're state You're talking about I, the Maharashtra government. So okay. is it land acquisition the problem or is it environmental clearance the problem? So let's have complete clarity on that one. And we are absolutely ready to dialogue if something that we have made is wrong, needs a change, we don't mind it, but explain it to us, have dialogue with us. GVL Supriya Sule is saying give us the data, convince us with data. She's not seen any data yet and that's the point of our story here. No, I'm also a little amused because it was... Uh, uh, Maharashtra government uh, in which NCP was a partner which were completely concerned which were uh, 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 which were on the forefront of demanding uh, changes in the law but I'm that sure the data anything. is that with the state governments the data the is with the state governments the well data was with the Congress the NCP governments, and it was it was the based on the data may, it the was based on the data well and experience they were making alarmism. these provisions the state governments including of the Congress and other parties may have also been guilty of alarmism, may have also been guilty of exaggerating the, the problems of land acquisition. I, I'm not saying they're exempt. 